So now we are actually working on animal models and it's basic research. Um, but in the future this will actually should be translated into humans. So I would hope that the research that we are doing now is actually can then be used to help in like cure type 1 diabetic children so that we can develop cells that can be used for therapy and that the um, basic knowledge that we acquire can then be translated for medical purposes. When I moved to the US 10 years ago, um, I was joining a laboratory which had just, we were just discovering how insulin production is regulated in response to high blood glucose levels. So whenever we eat, we have a lot of blood sugar and then insulin is released. And there it has been a long time, it has been known that there is a specific motive that is controlling this, but we didn't know which factor was actually responsible. And right when I joined, we discovered which factor it is, and we could also show that this factor is really required for the function of the insulin producing cells, so how it senses that there is more uh, blood sugar and how it releases insulin. And I've also been able to show that this factor is very important for the development of beta cells. So, but it actually, it's, it's as, it is just as you have to be in the right place at the right time, that it's a team effort because when I, if I wouldn't have joined the lab right then, then I would have never been part of this discovery. We're currently working on a project where we're trying to find out how a specific factor regulates um, type 1 diabetes development, so how the you know, like beta cells get attacked by immune cells. And we are actually in this year in the process of finalizing, finding out how the mechanism behind this you know, like immune attack, how this is working. And we're hoping that we can actually publish this work within the next year or two. My lab is actually doing basic science, so we're just curious, interested in how things work, what's the mechanism behind how a cell works. But the challenge for the future is actually that we can use this knowledge and apply it to the human and to help you know, cure people with type 1 diabetes, that we can generate insulin producing cells with our knowledge that can be then transplanted into human patients uh, that have type 1 diabetes and cure them ultimately. I was always interested in finding out how things work, like the mechanism behind when I started research, I wanted to know how things work. But then a few years ago, I was at a conference and this was a conference that was sponsored by uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And they have a lot of volunteers that actually work, help fundraising, uh, generate money for research. And there was one person who was telling me his story, like how he came to be involved in this. And he happened to have a brother that had very severe type 1 diabetic um, symptoms and also very low blood sugar levels. And someone had to sit next to his bed every night because if the blood sugar levels would be too low, then he would die. And that motivated him to become part of the organization and to you know, like try to raise money for research. And he was really, really hoping that we would find a cure with that money. And you know, when I was sitting in there, I was just like, oh, you know, like I should go back to the lab and do something more because that person is actually helping, paying my research, and he's having this great hope that I will help them. So I would really hope that the things we're finding will help then people that have type 1 diabetes, that they find a cure and can live a normal life.